Well, this is the White Rock reporter again giving you a little broadcast, a little candid video from uh, the Centennial Park, the Elysia Center and the arena in White Rock, British Columbia. And I'm going straight over to the beautiful sky here, blue sky weather as always in White Rock is great. And we're going to meet and be informed about the street rider. Now I'll give you a little overview of this beautiful vehicle, exercise tool, uh, transportation tool, whatever. This is great. Uh, I'm so glad you took off your sunglasses and now we can see you. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to go in, in detail, so, so please uh, work your intellectual capacity. This is new to you too, in a way. The spot here. <laughs> I, 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 yes, I do that on purpose because I know that you are not novice by no means when it comes, but the product is new to you. It is. This is a fantastic new piece of equipment, a wonderful way to move, do your errands, exercise, and have some fun. Now, I was a runner. I'm still a runner, but I can only run just a little bit, you know, a couple days a week on soft ground, nothing like I once was able to do, and that's because I have issues with the impact that it takes when you walk and run. Now, I was so excited to see this uh, about a month ago up in Whistler. It's an elliptical trainer on wheels, okay? Most of you have been to a gym. It engages the arm with the handle, pushing and pulling, engages the core because there's an element of balance, your posture nice and tall, you work the quadricep muscles, the hamstrings, the legs. It's like being... You work the ham too. The ham is Oh, you good. mean the, the ham, ham <laughs> the hamstrings, okay. <laughs> so look, now here's the thing, here's the thing. There's no impact attached to it. And that is what gets me so excited because I can get out on the streets and the trails on this thing and not feel those hurts and aches and pains that you get when you run due to impact. So, watch this now. So can I interrupt you and ask? Sure. In other words, there is no uh, there is no impact sensitivity here. There, there isn't, because there's no pounding. With every step, when you walk, if you're going to walk a nice heel toe action, as people do, you have you know one to two times your body weight placed on you everywhere, from your ankles to your knees to your hips to your right. back. Right. Every single step. When you run. And I work with people learning to run and running faster all the time. You were a runner. You just run. give us the short of the long. <laughs> uh, you have uh, that was quite some years ago. But you were a bronze medal I in Olympic. A, yes, I was. That's my. That's another life. But I. That was that was your life as uh, Mrs. Williams, right? <laughs> I was a proud winner of a of a bronze medal. My children these days are my Olympic medals, but I and I chase after them all the time. But listen. That was great. That was then. This is now. So when I teach people to run, running means with every step you have anywhere from, you take it to a shuffle, you have one to two to three times your body weight. And then as soon as you run faster, you're talking about three to four times your body weight with every single step. Now, people discover that they have difficulties with that. Now, it's hard to sort of recognize that. But you know what? Here's another option, and that's what I love, is that you get on this thing and you are suspended from the ground. This thing is the Street Strider. Street Strider. It's an elliptical, so you have a nice, beautiful wave of motion in your legs and in your feet and up through your core, and your arms are engaged. Now, we're talking, talking, talking. I have to get on this thing to show you. Uh, please do, and I'm going to see if I can take some close-ups here. Okay, so this is what happens. When you're first learning, you, you press these brakes together. They're beautiful front brakes as well as rear brakes. You simply step up on these nice big pedals, and I can tell you, you can engage yourself in many different ways by either, either working and stepping near the front of the pedal, where you work more of your arms right. to get moving to the middle, where it's pretty well a balance of arm and leg action. And then if you want to engage mostly these legs, these powerful legs and thighs that we all have that we need to use more of, right. you step more into the rear of the pedal and get ready for a huge range of motion. Now, so I'm balanced. Guess what? I'm engaged right now. 
it's not hard. I'm on three wheels here. The um, the shift of the weight alters the direction a little bit. And that, it takes a little bit of practice. There's the fun learning curve here. It's not hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it, okay? Now, we tried with me, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Ten minutes ago, and uh, yes, and 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 the safety, the brakes, and everything seems to be taken care of. We we showed that in the other video. Now, uh, is it anything conclusively that you would like to give the uh, viewer uh, to remember? Number one, uh, anyone would like to look at this? I think you have an you have an email called uh, Street Strider Lynn at. we're active doing something every day it's my passion is to try to inspire people to get off the couch well this is the latest and greatest trend in the way to do that you can work as hard or as little as you like you can have fun with it because I'll tell you what it feels great on this thing and uh, you know there's no impact attached to it so have fun call me if you want to go for a stride and try it out here we go arms engaged core engaged legs engaged Pushing and pulling, stepping, and we stride and woohoo! Away we go! Strider! Well, there, Lynn Kanuka left, and I say to the beautiful sky and uh, over and out from the White Rock Reporter.